A few days ago, I saw reports on a male MP who was allegedly on suicide watch and on a cocktail of medications to keep them calm. My first reaction was hoping that they would be okay. And my second reaction was to wonder why anyone thought it was appropriate to share this private medical information in this way. It did not seem to me like a release from the MP. So it came off as a total breach of privacy and it contradicts the work that activists and professionals have been doing to educate persons on mental health in Antigua and Barbuda. It feeds into negative archetypes and stereotypes surrounding mental illness. And it also appears very sensationalized when I read the part that was inserted about the elections. Mental health issues affect people from all walks of life, including those in positions of power, and responsibility. It is important that we recognize this and provide support and resources to those who are struggling. As a society, we must work to reduce the stigma surrounding mental health and create an environment where people feel comfortable seeking help when they need it. I urge anyone who might be struggling with their mental health to reach out to a trusted friend or family member or to seek professional help. At this time, I ask that the MP and their family be given the privacy and respect that they need as they navigate this very difficult situation. We also ask that the media and the public refrain from speculating or spreading rumors about the MP and their condition. Being a public figure does not mean that you are not entitled to some level of privacy and basic respect and decency, regardless of your political affiliation. Some of the public's reaction has been deeply disappointing to me and it underscores the need for more mental health awareness. Persons who experience mental health challenges are not weak. They are not selfish. They are not being cursed. They are simply humans.